So what we're focused on here is creating the next ultimate athlete. And to do so, we are focused on three specific loci that determine your height, your muscle tone, and your baldness. So tall is dominant to short, high muscle tone is dominant to low muscle tone, and baldness is dominant to having hair. So in this theoretical individual, we have a parent, tall, has low muscle tone and is bald, and the second parent, who is short, has high muscle tone and has hair. So if you were to cross those two chromosomes, you would create this individual who is heterozygous. And you can see that uh, the distance between the first and second loci are 17 centimorgans, and the distance between the second and third are 19 centimorgans. So we can expect to have more crossovers between the muscle tone and baldness loci. And the determined coefficient of coincidence is 0 0.7. So if you were to use this individual um, and cross it with a ho homozygous recessive individual, we'd be able to determine the probabilities of the gamete types that would result. So if you were to cross, if you were to cross over both loci, a double crossover, you would go from capital H to capital M to capital B because you're crossing over both. And similarly, you would also have lowercase h, lowercase m, lowercase b, and that would be a double crossover. A single crossover event can be from capital H to capital M to lowercase b, or it could be from lowercase m to lowercase m to capital B. And that would be a SCO1, single crossover one. And a single crossover two is the same idea, except you're crossing over between the second and third loci. So you would have these genotypes. And the fourth type you can have is a no crossover event where you stay from like capital H to lowercase m to capital B or lowercase h to capital M to lowercase b. So these are the different gamete types that can result from this heterozygous individual. Now you can determine the probabilities of them using specific formulas. So for the double crossover event, you can use a formula where you multiply the recombination probabilities, which is the distance between the loci divided by 100, and you multiply both of them. So set 0.17 times 0.19, and you multiply it with the coefficient. And that's how you get the double crossover event. However, to get the specific, uh, specific double crossover event, such as this genotype specifically, you would need to divide it by two because in a double crossover event, either one could happen. Now to find a single crossover event, you just subtract uh, the double crossover event from the first uh, pro uh, recombinant probability. So 0.17 minus the double crossover event. And again, you divide it by two to find uh, the specific single crossover event probability.